Hi, my name's Jason. I own a company called Rebuild. I specialise in refurbishing M3, 5 and 6's throttle actuators. Today I'm going to show you a very quick video on how to efficiently change a set of gears. Um, they also specialise in repairing and reworking the electrical side as well. Okay, what we're going to do is use a 3 mil drill and drill either side of the shaft to remove the half gear and slide the shaft out. If you drill about 45 degree angle in, but don't go as far as touching the shaft, and then straighten up, and then the same again this side. Drill at approximately 45 degree angle, and then straighten up. And effectively, I haven't touched the shaft, but what you can see I have done is put two holes either side. This weakens it for you to put the, the tab into the vise, give it a crack, and then you've removed the half gear. Okay, once that's removed, you can remove your shaft, and then in order to fit the odometer uh, half gear, you will need to file the lip off of this. Okay, once the lip's filed, make sure you get this nice and flat, don't take too much off, and then carefully go around taking the, the top lip off. Remember that once you fold it, you, you can't add back to it. So just try it every now and then, and if it still feels a bit too tight, a tiny amount of filing is all that's needed because you want this to be a tight fit. It's quite important that this is, is a tight fit. I'm not suggesting you hammer this on, but it should slide in pretty tight. Now, I suggest pinning these. So in order to pin the half gear, put it in a vise at this point. Lining it up is quite important. Getting the angle right is also very important. Um, a top tip I find is I only drill about four or five, about four mil into the shaft, and I'm going to finish the rest off um, by hand. The reason, the reason being is that I want to be able to judge how deep I am actually drilling with the drill bit. So, okay, you can see here I've drilled approximately about 7 mil into the shaft. Okay, I'm now going to fit the, the shaft back into the actuator and I'm about to glue and pin the half gear in place. Now, um, I've already mixed up some glue here, so what I'll be doing is using a, uh, a, a small drill bit to apply some glue to the top of the shaft where the splines are. Now I just want to make sure that this glue um, gets right into all the splines around that shaft. Okay, once that's done, I'm going to apply again another small amount of glue to the inside of the half D. Fitting it's quite simple. You hold the tab, you line the, the hole of the half gear up with the spring, once it's lined up, you give it one full twist and then you hook it in place. You may need to tap it down to make sure it's all the way in. Once it's tapped down, you need to get the pin and fit the pin. And just tap the pin in. I'm going to see if I can show you me doing this. At this point, there is one very important step that you need to do. Now, at the moment, there is no plate backwards and forwards in this, and the plate is absolutely crucial. You need about one mil. To, to get the plate, you literally tap the back of the nut. And then, you should be able to hear this. Um, I'm going to go for a little tiny bit more. There we go, so that unit's now ready for the half gear, uh, sorry, the full gear to go in. And then, um, done. 
Um, thanks for watching. Any questions, uh, let me know.